experience, I just couldn't quite shake the feeling of something feeling very off. For Lisa Pratt, that's how her nightmare started. He was a Harvard Medical School graduate um, and a member of our church um, and beloved by so many. But Pratt says her West Lynn doctor sexually abused her between 2015 and 2018. A grand jury in Clackamas County recently decided not to indict former doctor David Farley after claims of sexual abuse and misconduct surfaced. This is why women don't go to police. This is why people don't report, because they're not taken seriously. According to The Oregonian, in 2019, there was a separate investigation focused on allegations of improper pelvic exams on minors and the doctor taking photos of children's genitals. That resulted in the Oregon Medical Board stripping Farley of his medical license in 2020 for dishonorable and unprofessional conduct and gross or repeated negligence. The Oregonian reported Farley has since moved out of state. Pratt remembers when she was nearly nine months pregnant and wanted a procedure to induce labor and alleviate pain. She says Farley told her he wasn't in the office, but that she could come to his home. When I look back, of course, it, it sounds crazy, but I trusted him. His wife walked me back to their bedroom and laid a towel down on the bed and walked out of the room. He returned alone by himself um, and shut the door. Um, he swept my membranes, which is a very quick procedure, um, but then it didn't stop. And I remember laying there wondering, what's happening right now? And then I yelled, ouch, really loud. And he jumped and he started fumbling over his words. Then later, at a two-week checkup for her child, she says the doctor brought up concerns over breast milk production. He stuck his hand down my shirt and started to fondle and squeeze my breast. Um, and I just remember thinking, this is really weird. Um, I've never ever had somebody, a doctor, do that, even a lactation consultant in, during deli after delivery, um, touch my breast without consent. Pratt started talking to her friends, community members, and stories came out. We're best friends, and so in 2020, um, she asked me if I had ever had a strange experience with Dr. Farley. Katie Medley is just as angry about the lack of criminal charges. We knew him through the Mormon church, and so we also trusted him as an ecclesiastical leader. Medley says during a pap smear, Farley put his ungloved hand inside of her. And did something that did not feel like a medical exam and he said, oh, everything feels so good. Uh, and then he took his hand out and fondled my genitals and tried to get me to um, have some kind of a corrective procedure on my labia that he thought that I needed and the whole time touching me with his ungloved hand. And I felt a lot of shame. I left that appointment in tears. Medley and Pratt say only 20 to 30 women testified in front of the grand jury, but they say 200 women and girls have stepped forward with allegations of sexual abuse and misconduct. How can 200 women step forward and say, sorry, I get emotional because I'm so proud of every one of these women that have come forward and they deserve so much better than this. There's a misunderstanding that there were 200 reported victims. There weren't. Uh, we had, uh, not, not that it's to be minimized, but we had ac actually half of that, just over half of that in number. Uh, my name is John Wentworth. I'm the district attorney of Clackamas County. Clackamas County DA John Wentworth says he understands the deep frustration and anger associated with the grand jury's decision. But Medley and Pratt feel the DA's office dropped the ball and didn't bring all the evidence forward to the grand jury. But the bar in a criminal proceeding is always proof beyond a reasonable doubt. It's a very, very high bar. It's meant to be high. But at the end of the day, I also have a commitment and an ethical duty to only present to the grand jury evidence that would otherwise be admissible at trial. That's the law requires me to do that. Still, the decision not to indict is a source of stress for women like Medley and Pratt. They're setting their sights on the Department of Justice and hoping Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum opens an investigation. It has taken such a toll on my life. You know, I'm a mother of four um, and I have to constantly be fighting for this. 
um, and also try and be present and there for my children and give them a normal life and be a happy mom when some days all I want to do is curl up in my bed and cry. I don't know how much harder we have to fight, but I will. I'll keep doing it because I believe that every single one of us deserves justice. The Clackamas County DA says the fact that Farley was a doctor and had consent for medical procedures makes the case more difficult to prove criminally. That reasoning doesn't fly with the alleged victims I spoke with. While they also have a civil case against Farley, they say criminal charges will protect other women and girls. We tried to reach out to Farley and have not yet received a call back. Ashley. Okay.